When you overcome that emotional state, a memory without the emotional charge is called wisdom. Now you're ready to create a new future because if you're still attached to the emotion, you're still attached to the past and you can't create a future. So all of a sudden now, the person has a transformation. She has a shift. She knows that she knows that she's liberated from that anxiety. She's, she feels it. And be, as a result of it, in a matter of moments, Ben, her biology reorganizes to a new mind. And now she's eating. I'm watching her eat pizza. I'm watching her eat a hamburger. I'm, she's laughing. She's, and, it's, and it's sustained. But that's not the end. Because if she's healed herself, then the next question is, I understand the physics and biology of what I've done. Is it possible if I heal myself that I can heal another person? Now my, my belief is being challenged again. Now I'm challenging my current belief. Is it possible? Well, I don't know. I haven't had the experience yet. But if I'm thinking it and I understand the semantic, philosophical, theoretical, intellectual information, can I initiate it? Can I apply it? Can I personalize it? Can I demonstrate it? Can I modify my behavior in some way based on my last experience to have a more evolved experience? And that more evolved experience will be outside of my beliefs currently, but I understand the science and if I can get my behaviors to match my intentions, and I've done it to myself, and quantum physics says is that consciousness is non-local, well hell, if I can create a coherent signature here, I should be able to do it in another person. So then when the, when the experience occurs, now I have more circuitry in my brain that's enriched. I have a new feeling in my body and I feel like a healer. I already feel like a healer because I've healed myself, but let me see if I can heal someone else. I'm gonna bring up that emotion and it may take me a few times. And I'm telling you, that woman, we did a coherent uh, session where we're healing another person and the person laying down there was a woman f f from London who had a, uh, exposure to a bacteria in, in India 20 years ago who had food allergies that couldn't overcome that bacteria. And I watched this woman synchronistically, unbeknownst to the woman laying down there, lay a coherent energy in that person's body and that woman was healed. I had dinner with her in London and she was eating salmon and rice and everything else and she said, I don't know what happened but I got healed. Now that person who did the healing her belief was challenged, and because she had the experience, she asked the greater question. So the greater question then led to the next experience, but it's not enough to do it once. You gotta be able to repeat that experience. You gotta make it scientific. Right. You, gotta get, you gotta make it a skill. And this is where people stop, like they have the one experience and say, I'm a healer. No, the, the fact that you have the experience means you should be able to reproduce that. So then you keep pushing the boundaries of your beliefs that's called evolution.